Hey guys, this is the Rit from the Pesky Podcast. Next up on our hot stove series is possible targets for the Boston Red Sox is Japanese pitcher Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Now that Aaron Nola has re-signed with the Phillies for seven years and reported $172 million, the market now has been set for starting pitchers. Who is Yamamoto? The 25-year-old who turns 26 on August 17th is a 5-foot, 10-inch tall, 175-pound right-hander. He comes from MLB, from the Japanese Professional League, the MBP. He made his professional debut in Japan at the age of 17. He's played for the Oryx Buffaloes. If that sounds familiar, it should. Our very own Yoshida was his teammate up until last year when he joined the Red Sox. If as expected, he is posted for availability today. The lucky MLB team who comes up on top of the bidding process to obtain his services would have 45 days to agree to terms and sign Yamamoto and then pay Oryx a posting fee that is based on the contract agreement. Let's take a closer look at why the asking price will be high based on his performance in Japan. In his seven seasons in the MPB, he compiled a record of 70 and 29, an ERA of 1.82 with 992 strikeouts. This past season, he posted a 16 and 6 record with an ERA of 1.21 and struck out 169 batters in 164 innings. Those numbers play. So how does he do it? He mixes a collection of breaking pitches along with outstanding command. If that's not enough, a fastball that tops out in the mid-90s, that arsenal should be enough to keep MLB batters off balance at the plate. His accolades in the MPB include winning the Pacific League MVP Award and the Elias Sawamura Award, the Japanese Cy Young, in each of the last two seasons, and the pitching triple crown for wins, ERA, and strikeouts over the last three seasons. Where does this slot him in the big leagues? It is generally believed that he slots as a number one or number two on any MLB rotation. Most scouts agree that he will be able to make the transition easily and make his presence felt on the mound of his new MLB home. It's easy to see why he's sought after to the degree he has been. The talent and makeup there, he could follow in fellow countryman Shohei Otani's footsteps and mark his mark in the MLB to a lesser, equal, or greater degree remains to be seen. The Sox need a frontline starter, and well, fans, here he is. The price will be high, but worth it if he performs 90% of expectations. I hope that the Red Sox do whatever it takes to put him on the mound at Fenway Park. I suspect that the new CBO, Craig Breslow, will move quickly and brilliantly to get this job done. Still want more? We're keeping the hot stove white hot. Coming soon, Juan Soto, Corbin Burns, Blake Snell. That is more stats, more figures, and more of where we see them slotted in for an exciting 24, 2024 baseball season for your Boston Red Sox. All here in one place, the Pesky Podcast.